Now, tonight, the extreme radical 2020 Socialist Democrats are even getting too radical for their partners, their best friends in the hate Trump media mob. Some of them, including Don Lemon and Thrill Up My Leg Chris Matthews, the beginning to sound the alarm. Maybe you shouldn't tell people how you really feel. Just hide it like you used to. Take a look. What do you mean by that? Because I don't see how he wins again with the numbers that he has right now. <laughs> I don't Have see Have you seen it. what the Democrats are doing? <laughs> well, no, listen, you, can, you can't beat somebody with nobody. Well, it's hard to identify a leading candidate that is resisting the group move to the left. Bottom line, going into the Democratic primaries is not the same as going to the country. Joining us now, media reporter with The Hill. Also, WOR, my fellow WOR host, uh, radio host Joe Concha, award-winning journalist Lara Logan. Larry, we've lived through this before. It's called Barack Obama mania. Um, the only difference now is... They're even pushing harder to the left. I don't think you can stop that. Do you? Well, you know, Sean, I'm not a politician, right? And I'm not a political reporter. So I don't know whether you can stop it or not. My concern as a journalist is uh, looking, is trying to figure out what the facts are and, um, and trying to figure out what people are actually representing, what they actually are trying to do in the election. And, also, and as journalists, it seems to me, you know, our job is to, is to do that, right? That's our duty. But what I really want to know is, Don Lemon and Chris Cuomo, are they opinion hosts? Are these opinion shows? Or are these news programs? Because that's an important distinction. And what people tell me, American people, everywhere I go in this country, that's what they want to know. When they turn on the news, they want the facts. When they turn on an opinion show like yours, they want your opinion, right? So where do these people stand? Well, and where does CNN stand? I am a radio and TV talk show host. We do. I have hundreds of hours I can produce a straight reporting. God forbid a shooting, a, a war, a natural disaster. Straight reporting. Some that we investigated Obama, nobody else would. We investigate the deep state, nobody else would. Uh, we do investigative work that they're too lazy and, and too partisan to do. We also do opinion and sometimes sports and sometimes cultural issues. We're like the whole newspaper. That's my role in the press. Is that a fair description or unfair, Joe Concha? I think people tune in primarily for your opinions, but you cover the other stuff. You have to. You're in cable news. How many, 24 I could produce hundreds of hours of me, straight story, reporting just the facts. That's fine. But I think most of the time people want to know your perspective on a certain news, but particularly at this in time of night, of people a know war, the news. Do you really want my opinion or something that's news breaking? That's, you know, rockets being fired into Israel. That's... I, opinion night. I could answer uh, Laura Logan's question, and that is that on the CNN website, Cuomo and Lemon are listed as anchors. And clearly, they're giving opinions. You, you just showed one. Uh, but as far as the left talking about this worry that the party is going too far left, Politico had a, a good story uh, last month that talked about, and this wasn't based on somebody's opinion, but economic models with strong track records and picking presidential winners and losers. And they cite strong U.S. economy, rising wages, low gas prices, and historical advantage held by a presidential uh, incumbent. And they say that if you look at all those factors, President Trump will win in a landslide. I don't think we're in a landslide culture anymore. I think it's hard. We're too polarized. But based on that alone, and the fact that Democrats are going with Medicare for all, Green New Deal, eliminate the Electoral College, more oh, regulations, yeah. expanding the expanding, after birth abortion, after right, all of those yeah. things, expanding the Supreme Court, all of those ideas will be rejected by the one part of the base right. that matters most, and that's independence. Laura, I, I, there is a very different standard. You were on 60 Minutes. This is that, you know. I don't see that anymore. I don't even see 60 Minutes as fair because they, they'll tape you for 10 hours and chop it down to 15 minutes. That's called edited fake news. <laughs> well, that happens, Sean, to everybody, I have to say. And, and Joe, you know, uh, the thing is that anchor doesn't answer my question because as an organization, where does CNN stand? Have you taken a political position or have you not? You know, what, uh, where did... The problem with what has been happening in the media, as far as I'm concerned, is that we claim the middle ground. They're we claim not, to be objective, and we're not. 